So we do actually have the very same storm system headed our way. I don't think tornadoes are a concern, certainly, but it is going to be uh, an ugly Thursday as a result of that storm, which we'll get to. But let's start it off by looking outside Whitfield Elementary School. Very damp, very dreary start to the day here. It's 57 degrees, so yeah, it's comfortable. I'd walk out the door with an extra layer, but the wind is pretty light and it'll stay that way. Here's the reason you still have clouds. You still have showers working their way through. They are diminishing and um, you know, really, I would say by the time we hit lunchtime, this should be long gone, probably wrapping up even before then by a few hours, 9, 10 a.m. at the latest. So this is going to yield to some clouds breaking for some sunshine and we'll end up with an OK afternoon. Not super bright and sunny for most of us, but at least drying out. Here's that storm system we just talked about, though, definitely showing a lot more organization at this point, right? This is going to start to head our way even as early as late tonight. So this is just one of those patterns with rounds of rain working their way through into overnight. Uh, we'll start to see this next storm come along. The general gist, at least for the next 48 hours, is that you've got showers for now, break later today and this evening, and more rain moving in overnight in through Thursday. There will also be embedded thunderstorms, and I actually think that the storm is going to allow showers to linger by Friday, too. So what happens for the holiday weekend? It looks like there might be more showers. Now, Saturday looks good. If you've got outdoor plants, keep them. It looks like a good day. Sunday, though, the showers are very likely to return, and I think they'll probably linger even into Memorial Day. Not washed out status necessarily right now. I don't want to promise that right now, but it is looking like there will be some damp weather to dodge for the holiday.